This video demonstrates replacing the license file on an existing Siemens license server and is being presented by Spatial Integrated Systems. This is done using the installation program for the Siemens license server, the SLS, version 2.0 or higher. This does not apply to the legacy Siemens PLM licensing. Browse to the location of the SLS download and run the installer as an administrator. Wait while the temporary files are extracted and the setup assistant to start. Then select your language. You are presented with several options. Click the Add Replace License File option. You will be prompted for a license file. Browse to and select the file you receive from Siemens. If your license server is currently running, you will be prompted to stop the service and reconfigure it. Click Yes. You will be prompted for two port numbers. The default port numbers for the SLS are 29000 for the communications port and 29001 for the daemon port. These port numbers will be used by all license files on the server. Note, the SLS installer will always try to set the port numbers to 29000 and 29001, regardless of any previous port settings that are currently in use. You have the option to select Advanced Settings and edit the port numbers. Use this option to change the port settings to match those currently used by your client workstations. This will simplify the migration for any existing client workstations, making the change transparent to the end users. During the install, you'll be prompted to install the Siemens License Install Manager, or SLIM. SLIM is an optional feature to remotely perform administrative tasks. The SLIM installation will require you to input your WebKey email address. Also, to use SLIM, you need to download and install the Siemens Software Center, or SSC, application from the Support Center. Or you can click I don't want this feature to skip this option. Here you can verify the license file source and destination. You also have the option to have the installer add exceptions to your firewall if so desired. You can uncheck this option if you prefer to adjust firewall issues manually. The server will now be installed, configured, and the service started. Here you can verify that the server has been successfully installed and started. If you have license files to add for additional applications, you can click Licensing to repeat this process. Otherwise, click Done. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.